All right, so we will um, go ahead and get started. Um, it looks like we have quite a few guys already in. I know there's still some that are trickling in, but tonight's session, we are going over um, some of our automotive collision and green energy programs that we are starting um, in 2025 um, and some that are already currently running as well. Um, and then at the end, if you guys have questions or during the presentation, if you have questions, please feel free to to um, you can either raise your hand or just chime in with any questions that you guys have. So this is a list of our upcoming classes in 2025. Um, the switch, which is a class that we will talk about this evening about building an electrical vehicle from ground up. We have a course that we are developing now that will start by the summer for light EV vehicles. We have our EDSE, our electric vehicle supply equipment class, our hybrid and EV diagnostic and repair for automotive class, high voltage, advanced automotive tech training with NC um, safety and OBD certification. Um, and then finally, we have our collision repair and refinishing class um, that will also go into a project-based auto restoration class where you're able to bring in your own uh, vehicle to, um, to, to restore um, in the class. So let's see, this should pop up. Oops. And the video should pop up here, which I don't think it did. Give me one second. Is anybody seeing a video on the screen? I think you need to share um, your complete screen. I was able to click on the link and it, it, it plays it locally for me. I see the video now, or at least- Perfect. Your, your, yeah. Awesome. Okay, let's see. Uh, we're, not, we're not hearing the audio. No sound coming through? No. Casey, are you, do you know how we can get the sound to play? Um, I'm not sure. I just Googled it. <laughs> um. <laughs> there should be a separate button. Um, when you go to share your screen, there should be a separate button at the top that says share sound. So um, when I clicked on share, the yeah, very, very bottom, this is also share tab audio. I was going to say, it's not giving me that option. Hmm. Is it because I'm presenting? I would think you would be presenting. I mean, I would think your audio would be already on because you're presenting. Yeah. Right. That's odd. Um. um unless you have your speakers locally not uh, enabled. Mm. Do you have a headset on? Nope, I don't have a headset on. Um. Hang on just one second. Okay. It's strange that it's video is playing, but not the audio. It would be interesting to see when you click on the uh, settings gear uh, thing within a uh, YouTube, what it what it has for um, your audio settings. Stable. Uh, uh, oh, okay. If 
Well, technical difficulties that I wasn't prepared for this evening would be the audio not playing. Um, okay, I just called um, Paul Jenkins, who's very tech savvy, and he says that there should be a button that says use system audio whenever you hit share. So it only says share screen. Okay. And it doesn't have anything Paul is, that says is coming to yeah. help. <laughs> Hang on just one second. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh, that one, it did pop up, but it went away as soon as it popped up. Oh, if that's the case, um, to the left of the browser you're using, it has the, like, controls. View, uh, view site. Oh. Share sound. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so let's see if that one works. Here you go.
All right, so let me just switch back now. Okay, back to the presentation. Are you guys able to see that? Yes. Oh, perfect. Thank you. So the Switch Lab is our newest program that we have started. Um, we have several of the Switch Lab vehicles that we house here at North Campus. Um, the class does cost right around 200, but you do um, the entire part of what you saw in that video. Um, every part of what you saw is what you're going to come to North Campus and do. So you'll do um, all the electrical portions um, and you'll be down in the lab for the majority of the class doing everything hands on. Um, everything from the high voltage, the battery charger, the power inverters, the motor, um, all of that will go over in that class in particular. So it's a really good basic starter class to learn about the electric vehicles. The light electric vehicle class that we will start summer of this year uh, will include electrical bicycles, scooters, motorcycles. Um, it'll include the testing materials and equipment that you'll need to uh, repair and diagnose a lot of these um, electric vehicles. Um, you'll see a lot of these in downtown Raleigh and a lot of the municipalities that are getting them in um, and not knowing how to repair them. So this will be a great class if it's something that you're interested in learning about. Our EVSE class did start this fall. It's a seven week training program that's a mix of online and hands on. So the first four weeks of this class is um, on teams. And then the last week is hands on split between our electrical department and our automotive department. Um, and you'll spend six days between those two departments hands on. Um, it does prepare you for the SAE exam. And then you do get your certification at the end of this seven week class. We do have a one week or 40 hour um, hybrid and EV diagnostic and repair class. Um, this class, you will go um, in depth into hybrid and plugins and electric vehicles, and you'll learn how to repair and maintenance um, all of those vehicles hands on in our lab at North Campus as well. Um, this class has two options. We offer it uh, for a one week training, Monday through Friday, eight to five. And then we also offer it um, on a five Saturdays and as well as once a year, um, we do offer it in the evenings as well for technicians that are already working. This past fall, we um, started our high voltage certification class. It is a two and a half day class that your techs can go to that will um, get them high voltage certified. Um, they do have to complete some online modules before coming to the in-person portion of it, um, but it does take two and a half days to get the level three high, certifi uh, high voltage certification. We are going to start offering this spring an advanced automotive technician with NCSI and OBD training. So with this specific class, students who take the class will obtain um, eight credits if they decide to go into curriculum. They'll also get state certified for safety and OBD. Um, but during the class, they'll also get lift safety. They'll get a hunter alignment certification. They will get um, AC and diagnostic repair. Um, lift safety, um, and then they'll also be able to take the ASC 6 and 7 um, at the end of the course, as well as obtain some NC3 certifications. This course is planned to run at $250 per student. Um, so if you have a technician or you are um, in the process of doing your OBD and safety, that alone is going to be $180, where if you decide to take this class for a little bit more, um, you'll be able to get a lot more certifications with it. The next part that we are looking to expand into in the spring is our collision paint and auto restoration programs. We are offering a collision repair program, which will go into the body work um, and welding part of the collision side. And the second part to that is a paint and refinishing class. So once you take those two classes, um, you'll be able to take our auto restoration program, which is in the summer. With that program, you're able to bring in your own personal vehicle um, and work on it in the lab with the instructor. It's a small group, usually six students, um, and each student has their own project that they're working on with um, their instructor overseeing them. 
So you do have to take collision repair and refinishing and the paint class first, um, but that's so that way you have the skills to be able to work on your own vehicle. Some of the other trainings that we are offering are defensive driving, safety and OBD, forklift, escort, auto dealers. We offer motorcycle, um, basic auto, which is a very short class for um, new drivers um, and those that are just wanting to learn how to do their own oil change and tire rotation. Uh, we do offer an engine repair class, which is uh, really great for those that are wanting to learn a little bit more about small engines. Um, and then our automotive maintenance and light repair class. That class is designed for um, anybody over the age of 16 um, who is looking at coming into our automotive program. That class will give um, students credit hours and they work with the instructors 101 typically to come into our curriculum program. There are four other options that we are offering in the spring, and that is an advanced electrical refresher, an air conditioning diagnostic class, an oscilloscope training, and then a hunter uh, certified wheel alignments class. All four of these classes will run in a three evening session. So typically a Monday, Wednesday, Friday from six to 10, and they'll cost $100 each. Um, and those classes are for technicians, again, that are already out in the field um, and wanting to get these extra certifications. To find all of our programs that we do offer, you're just gonna visit wagetech.edu and on the menu screen, you'll click workforce training and then you'll click transportation. Um, these, these little boxes will come up, but if you scroll down below, you'll see a list of all of the classes, days and times that they are offered and their pricing. And then if you have any questions, my name, email and phone number is there. Um, and then Corey Fowler, who's our program coordinator, his information is also there. Um, his office is at North Campus in the Hendrick Building. So um, you're always welcome to stop by and he can give you a tour as well. And um, if you guys have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Go ahead, Steven. Yes, um, if you go back to the slide where you show the trainings, I think it's slide 11. Yeah, this one. Yep. Uh, which of these are available either now or in 2025 um, that are not really for like current people that are working in in the industry? Um, so I've already taken the basic auto maintenance. Um, are the either engine repair or the other one automotive maintenance and light repair? Is that going to be available this year? Yes. So automotive maintenance and light repair typically. Um, we offer twice per semester because it fills up so quickly. Um, so we'll offer it in the end of January, which will run through March, and then we'll offer it again from like April till May. So typically it's like eight or nine weeks, depending on how many holidays are kind of in that eight week session. Um, automotive maintenance and light repair is pretty equivalent to advanced auto tech with OBD and safety. It just depends on if you want that OBD and safety part. Um, mm -hmm. The advanced auto tech training, you'll get a lot more out of if you're just if you're wanting to go into working in like a facility or doing inspections at an inspection station for the price, because they're going to be the same price. It's worth it to do advanced auto tech training with OBD and safety if that's something you want to learn. But both of them, you can do either one entry level wise. Um, it uh, that's one of the ones you showed at the beginning. Advanced auto, that is this one. This one? Okay. Yeah. You I was get, confused. Yep. Okay. Yep. You'll get lab scope and you'll get AC diagnostic. Um, you'll get lift safety. You'll get a lot more because this this is an extra 15 to 20 hours. So you'll okay. get a whole lot more with it being the same price. Okay. Um, so it, you're saying it's okay that I'm not ASE certified or anything like that? Yes, absolutely. Both of these classes are designed to get you to the point where you're comfortable doing an ASE test. Um, and you'll do an ASE student test in both of the courses. This one, you'll be able to do A6 and A7 as well if you decide that you wanted to do that. Um, but with both of them, you'll take the ASE student edition. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, in the uh, that that cool thing about the uh, 
smart car or whatever switch car the switch um, yeah is that like um when are you offering that course so we are offering that one starting in january yeah, um okay. yeah that class will be up on the website as well and i can tell you actually i just got the dates today for that one i can tell you the exact dates see i just think it's cool that's all I it think. is it's really great um because you start out from you know the basics um so monday wednesday friday starting january 20th from 6 to 10 that one will be okay thank you yeah and the advanced automotive technician while i had the other screen up that one will start may 5th and that's a monday wednesday friday okay so you do have the ability to take the switch first and then go into the advanced auto tech mm -hmm. if that if you decide you wanted to go that route okay And both of these are going to be the North Campus, the Hendricks building. Yes. All of the classes that we offer are at North Campus because it, it's where we have the Hendricks Center. Um, and we just have a whole lot more space to be able to do that. At South Campus um, in the summer, we'll be looking at starting more heavy equipment and diesel related courses. Was there more questions? And I haven't seen the chat yet, Casey, if there was any questions in the chat. Um, I think you've already answered. There's only one question in the chat, and I think you answered it. Someone's typing. And yes, the curriculum um, was purchased from Switch, um, the Switch vehicles. We actually um, purchased them, the curriculum and the actual vehicles from them. Someone has their hands up. So the two year EV tech program, that's a that is incorporated into the curriculum program. As of right now, it's still all in process. Um, it takes several yeah. years for that to get approved. So as of right now, we're only offering just the classes. And Trey, you look like you have a question you uh yeah um i'm graduating in 2025 and uh, i'm applying for the fall semester and i was wondering what the steps i should take to apply for like advanced auto mechanics after the um the first half you mentioned you're graduating high school yeah high school and you what was the second part of that um what would be like the process for me to get into the uh, apprenticeship program and advanced auto mechanics? So if you're still in high school, um, my recommendation would be to take the MLR class, which is automotive maintenance and light repair. Um, that class in particular, um, the instructor is a curriculum instructor who works with students to get into the apprenticeship program um, and to get that class counted for your first semester as six credits. Um, so that instructor, while you're in that class, will walk you through all of that step by step. Um, so you can take that class as, as soon as you turn 16, uh, for example. So if you're 16 now, you can go ahead and take that class. OK, yeah, uh, I'm 17 at the moment. Um, so you said it's an MLR, uh, MLR class? MLR, so it's, it's the Automotive Maintenance and Light Repair. So in the spring, it'll be offered from like January to March, three days a week, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday from six to 10. And then if you want in the summer, it's offered again, but during the daytime, um, like Monday through Friday from eight to five. And so it just kind of depends if you're okay taking the evening class. Um, but the instructors will work with you to get you into the program, either an apprenticeship or through one of the scholarships that we offer. Okay, thank you. Sure. And Stephen put in the chat, um, Sin Alex, yes, he teaches the MLR class. Uh, 
All right. Well, I will hang around a bit. And if you have any questions, feel free to hop off of mute or send it in the chat and I'll be happy to answer. Thank you. Absolutely.